Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary where we learn meaning and definition of several technical words. As a part of today's tutorial, we are learning another word called as fault injection testing. Now, what is fault injection testing? When you talk about the fault injection, of course, it is all about injecting a fault purposefully in order to evaluate something. And what is that evaluation? Of course, it is to make sure that there are various things which we generally determine as a part of the code, which is created specifically for handling different errors. Now, for example, what if a system comes across a kind of a recovery scenario or probably some kind of runtime errors which might happen during the execution of the product? It might be due to uh, the user activity or probably some of the internal activity within the application architecture itself which may trigger these kind of uh, you know errors and these errors must be handled in such a way that the user does not find it inconvenient to further continue using the product so there are a lot of such recovery scenarios error hand handling scenarios which are written by the developer in the code to manage all these scenarios now that is what we try to test specifically passing those values which will look into these error handling codes whether it is triggered whether it applies there or not and whether this recovers the particular application from that unrecoverable state and then uh, let the user continue doing what he or she was trying to do because mainly when you talk about writing your test cases you generally cover the positive or the negative test cases talking about the valid test cases or valid test data and invalid test data but we generally do not cover the recovery scenarios like we have written certain recovery actions which will be taken if system gets stuck with something or probably does not accept a particular input then what happens so generally we do not uh, write certain test cases to measure these codes and not normally the application will get into that state right we have to make it happen so you generally test the product with unusual ways that how exactly the system behaves if I purposefully try to break the system and see if the error handling scenario or the code which is written to overcome this kind of barrier is activated or triggered or not, which basically satisfies you that all the aspects which we have tried to integrate to your application is working fine, right? So that's what we just wanted to give you a quick explanation. And don't forget, there's another video about fault CD. It is different from that. So fault seeding and fault injection are different from each other. You can watch that video using the link above in order to see the difference between both the tones. Well, that's all from this particular episode team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.